Hey, um, I just wanted to make this video today because some really interesting stuff has just, I've just seen something on Facebook and um, it just struck a chord with me and I wanted to share because this is the third time I've seen, or this in, this has happened to people that I know or to some young, beautiful young women that I know. And there's obviously something going on um, or something that I need to share because I've been involved in two of them fairly, two of these situations fairly um, deeply and um, this third one was um, a post by a lovely Facebook friend of mine that I don't know personally but anyway it has made me um, think. So what I want to share is about manifesting and um, you know, when you have, you set goals and you're, you have your desires and um, you know what you want, when you sit down and really, really go through your um, goal, the goal setting process, um, it's so important to be clear and get clear about exactly what it is that you want to manifest and bring into your life. And then once you've got clear about it and you feel it and you know, you know, you get excited by it and all of the things that we do, um, then you let it go and let God, I just say, let it go, let God or the universe or whoever um, take over because the universe has your back and um, it will give you what you ask for, whether that's good, bad or indifferent, you will get it. So, um just a bit of a story first. Uh, I've, oh, I can't remember how long ago now, but a little while ago, I um, had a beautiful, and I've still got her, she's still a beautiful friend, and she what really was keen to manifest a man into her life. And so we went through the practice, a law of attraction, you know, practice where I said to her, write down on one side of the page everything that you can think of that you don't want in a man. And then on the other side of that page, that will help you because that will help you to decide what you do want in your man, what you do want this person to bring to you. And uh, she duly did that exercise. And um, within a few months, she had attracted into her life this uh, a man who ticked all the boxes that she had put in, um, except that he was, well not really available I guess and so um, he had some cultural things that were going on that he wasn't really allowed to hang out with a um, with a Caucasian a white girl and um, so he didn't tell his parents about her and you know it ended up really badly actually so um, and of course, you know, I was there for her. We picked up the pieces and she's, um, she's a very strong woman and she, it was tough, um, really, really tough, but she's got through it, worked her way through it. And one of the messages that, um, that we realized that she didn't put in her, um, in her request to the universe was that she would be able to be with him. Anyway, fast forward a few months and I was on holidays in Thailand and I met up with the most beautiful, beautiful young woman and um, she was uh, in Thailand at, a, um, at the yoga retreat that I was on and we got on just famously. She was just wonderful. And um, funnily enough, she started talking about her, uh, the reason why she was at the retreat was to just get away from a situation that she'd found herself in and she'd manifested her soulmate and they had a beautiful relationship but he wasn't able to be with her. His family had somebody else selected for him to marry. It was a cultural, you know, she was also um, from a similar culture, but um, he wasn't available for her to um, to be with. And so he ended up having to be, having to marry somebody that he didn't love and uh, and because, yeah, he had to do the right thing by his parents. So that was, um, that was really sad and she's still getting over it and um, working through it and it's really tough uh, I, because... Yeah, when you find your soulmate, it's like, it's big. It's kind of a big deal. Anyway, <laughs> so then today I opened Facebook and the first 
um, post I saw was by this a beautiful, beautiful young woman that I actually met, but I, I mean, she's not a, a she's an acquaintance. But she posted and she said this was the longest post that she would ever do on Facebook and um, and I was like, oh my God. And there was a beautiful photo of her with a, um, with a, a man. And I started reading the story and holy smoke, same thing. This woman had manifested this beautiful man who ticked every box except she wasn't allowed to be with him. His family had chosen another woman with two children. Um, that needed a husband, obviously, and he was the perfect person, and um, he can't go against his parents' wishes. And so they've had to um, go their separate ways. And it's just heartbreaking to read her, um, her story, but also heartbreaking because, as I said, three times this has come up. And so I don't know um, why, because, as I said, <laughs> It's quite interesting. I'm not a relationship coach by any stretch. My relationship with my husband is quite interesting because he's not available either. He lives in another state, in another, like in Canberra, in the ACT. And so we're getting by um, without each other. And it's it's not a struggle, but it's not ideal. And, you know, you have to we make it work. And when we are, when we do get time together, we make the best of that time together. Anyway, what my message is that I'd like to share with you today is that when you are in the in the manifesting mode and you sit down and th this process in um, in asking it is given actually by Abraham I've just got that book right here it's called the placement the placemat process and as I said as I told my beautiful friend Mary when you sit down and think about what you want right? It's really hard sometimes because you don't have any idea about what you want, but you do know what you don't want. So sit down, grab yourself a piece of paper, and then on one side of the page, write don't want, and then put a line down the middle of the page, and then on the other side of the page, put want. And then write down everything that you don't want in a man. And remember, or, you know, in whatever it is that you desire, whether it's a man or a woman or a um, car or anything, anything, a house, anything that you want to, to attract into your life, just write down everything that you can possibly think of that you don't want. And then on the opposite side of the page, write down everything that you do want in that person or that thing. And if it is a person, if it is a man or a woman or a partner, a life partner, a soulmate that you're wanting to attract, just remember the mind, the you know, this minor detail that is a big detail, and that is that they are available and are you know able to be with you and to be with you in in physically, mentally, and in every possible way that they can be with you for the for as long as um, you know you want to be together so um, yeah it's such an important step and it's something that I would never have thought of myself um, and obviously you know these three beautiful girls that have had their hearts broken and they're trying to pick up the pieces um, and move on they didn't think of it either and so, um, yeah, so that's my message. Just be really, really, really specific about every single detail of everything that you want. And then let it go. Put it out. Just let it go and let the universe do its work. And, um, and just know and trust that everything will work out perfectly for you. <laughs> Oops, there's Dusty coming up on the table. <laughs> Are you going to come up again? Did you hear that? He just knocked a whole heap of stuff off on his way up. Anyway, I think he's going to do a little cameo appearance. There he is. Hello. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, that's my message when you're manifesting. And if you want any help with that process, just reach out. I'll help you. I'll be more than happy to help you. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. I love you.